Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel, Smiles Per Gallon. How is everybody? Hope you're all feeling above average. So today I'm doing a bit of maintenance on my bike, on my KTM. Uh, at the weekend, on Sunday, I'm going out on a group ride with um, the Crazy Legs on a Bike as a range. So I've decided I need to do a bit of maintenance on KTM just to make sure that it's all ready. Rather than me getting up Sunday morning, having to mess about with them, been late for the, um, the event. I don't want to do that, so... I've decided to do it today, which is Monday, and the ride is the following Sunday. We're going to pull down at shed. I'm going to do just basic maintenance checks, um, tire pressure, uh, my chain. I need to check the tension on my chain, so I need to get it on paddock stand. I'm going to clean my chain. Um, I'm going to go through a process of that and a bit of um, some kit that I've bought to. Um, stop you from getting any grease or anything on your brake disc and your wheel most important your brake disc obviously you don't want to be getting any grease definitely don't want to be doing that so we'll get the bike out of the shed and we'll crack on eh oh i can't beat a nice cup of coffee on the morning right come on let's do this first thing we need to do is check our chain tension and by doing that we just press up to the swing arm and we just measure it should be round about six mil um, and that should be correct obviously if there's any more than that then it needs to be, um, be tightened up if it's any less than it needs to be slackened off so yeah this this is looking absolutely fine yeah, just above four, five million. That's fine. So then we just roll the chain round, checking in other areas. Yep, again, again, that's five mil. That's that's fine. Just above five. So just roll the chain round. Just keep checking it in different areas, and just keep repeating the process. If you find any loose parts, then obviously it's a sign that your chain is wearing. Maybe it's potentially time to um, change your chain and sprockets. Next thing we're going to do is remove the um, the mud guard, the chain guard rather, so I can get down and uh, check my chain slider. And you get a bit more legibility on your chain. You've got to remove this bolt off your foot um, guard as well. Just slide it forward just so you can get the um, get the guard off. Next is this front sprocket guard, so I'm just going to take this off and um, that gives us a bit more scope to check his front sprocket. A bit of shit there gathered up in the, um, in the guard and that's a bit mucky as well, so I'm going to go take them in and give them a good scrub. Might as well while they're off, aren't we? As you can see, you get a build up of grease underneath, so it's just getting rid of that, giving it a clean making it all nice so now i'm just gonna check my front sprocket make sure there's no warm teeth it's, it all looks good does this um i checked it not long back if you want to remove the sprocket them two bolts there you just take them off and you can actually remove your front sprocket it's quite a simple process to do and um, so i'm checking my chain now i'm just looking for any notchiness um and then I'm just going to have a look at my uh, chain slider. It's a bit of plastic, what your chain rolls over the top of to protect your um, your swinging arm. Um, it's, it's like I said, the bike's only done 1,500 miles, so I don't think it's a, a real problem. So I've just removed a bit of grease from on, on the slider. Um, and I'm removing a bit of grease now, which is built up under the sprocket. Yeah, it's um, it's all it's all good. So I'm going to roll my chain just to check for some more notchiness. I can't see anything. The chain is in really good condition. The sliders are moving. Um, yeah, I'm quite I'm quite happy with the chain. It just needs a clean um, and a lube and then put everything back on. And Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, as they say. Cheers. <laughs> 
Oh dear. Right. So the next thing. So I've purchased, purchased this um, from Alfred's. It's a Motto Grime Guard. Um, you just put it around your wheel. And what it does, it protects your brake disc and your wheel from any spray or any brushing that you're doing. Um, or when you're applying your lube, it just stops it from, you know, going all over your, all over your floor, all over your wheel, all over your brake disc, making it dangerous. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to squirt some GT85. I like to use this stuff. I've used it on my mountain bikes for years when I went into mountain biking a few years back just before my accident. Um, yeah, I used it. It never ever damaged any O rings in me, um, me mountain bike chain. So it's the same rubber all. It's built on the same process, just smaller. So um, I don't think it's going to do any damage to your chain on your motorcycle either. But as I say, I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. I just I've been riding motorcycles a long time and maintaining them for a long time. And this is just the process that I've always used. GT85 to me is really good stuff. It's got PTFE in it as well and a, a water suppressant, which can't really hurt, can it? And um, so I'm just going around now with my chain brush. Um, I think I need to take a bit more off this grime guard, to be honest, uh, so I can spin wheel and it'll spin freely. Because you have got to cut the grime guard to the size of your hub, which uh, I've done. I've done it at 800 mil. I think it needs to be 900 or even even a thousand. But anyway, I'll look at that later on. So moving on with the video, so I'm just going to now do underneath my chain, so I'm rolling it around, this bloody grime guard it keeps still, and it's quite a good thing this grime guard because it's, uh, it does collect all the um, the fluid into your little tray at bottom, which obviously does help not make a mess, you know, it's, uh, it is a good bit of kit. So now I'm just wiping any surplus um, GT85 off the chain, ready to give it some um, chain lobe. All the time I'm just keeping my eye on my rollers and everything. So I'm moving on to my sprocket, I've already checked it, it's nice, nice as a sprocket, the teeth are big, um, they've not worn, they've still got the triangle shape to them and you know, um, they're quite fat as well so there's nothing wrong with this sprocket whatsoever. So I'm moving on. I'm going to start and use some of this uh, grease lube, chain lube, what I use. Um, I've used it for a while and it's it, it's like anti-fling, so, you know, you don't you don't get it all over your wheel and stuff when you're riding. As long as you let it set for, I don't know, maybe an hour, an hour and a half or something like that, two hours maybe, um, it does set quite thick. So I, I use it all year round and it's 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 fine stuff. I need to cut this chain guard, make it a little bit bigger, I think. So I'm just moving all along the chain, nice and evenly, just um, getting this um, grease onto the chain. Uh, I'm, I'm watching my rollers, this is actually rolling around the sprocket, you can see my rollers moving, so I know that there's there's no problem with the, with the chain. Um, to me it looks fine. So I'm taking my grime guard off now. Don't need that anymore. I need to, um, as you can see there, there's some fluid that's actually been caught. So now I'm just checking, just rolling it round, listening and watching for any notchiness as you do. It's all going round nice and evenly. Spinning the wheel backwards as well. It's all going nice and evenly. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I'm watching my front, my race sprocket, my front sprocket, all working fine. So now it's time to put the uh, the chain guard back on and the front sprocket guard as well. Hey YouTube, so just a short video on just to give you some legibility on how to uh, maintain your chain, um, to clean it and how to, um, how to lube it. Um, obviously I went through taking the chain guard off checking your front sprocket, checking your rear sprocket, that goes without saying, just make sure you do them checks. If you look at your sprocket teeth, you can tell when they're well because they go thin and they lose a the triangle shape. So you just need to keep your eye on that. The bike has only done 1500 mile if that, so I don't think it's gonna be ready for a chain and sprocket just yet. And I've checked it anyway and it's, um, it's all in really good condition. So back to 
again just to give you some legibility on how to clean your chain hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and smash that bell icon this is me smiles per gallon signing off see you later cheers